Hi friends, today's lesson is for module four, lesson 20. When I was a little girl, there was this awesome candy shop and everything in the shop was a one penny. That's right, everything. And I loved going to the candy shop. One day my mom gave me six pennies, so I went and bought my favorite candy, cherry lollipops. Mm, they're so delicious. Well, as I was walking home from the candy shop, obviously I ate some. So when I got home, I only had that many left. And my mom was very confused because she gave me six pennies, but I came home with obviously not six lollipops. And she was like, what happened to the other ones? And I'm like, oh, let me show you by using a drawing and then a number sentence because you know I love math. So I started out by drawing the six original lollipops that I had. And I wanted to write a number sentence to show that I ate some, so I was taking away, right? Subtracting. So I started with my whole amount, which was six. That's what I started with. And then I got to use a minus sign because when you subtract or take away in your number sentence, you get to write the minus sign, which is just a little straight line. So six minus, and I ate two lollipops. So six minus two. Friend, do you remember how I can show that in my drawing when I take away? How do I show that in a drawing? Oh, thank you. Yes, I put X's. So I'm going to go ahead and put two X's. One, two. Show that's how many I ate. Now all I have to do is figure out what the other side of my equal sign will be, what the amount is that's left over. Can you go ahead and count for me? One, two, three, four. Yep, I have four left. Oh, now my mom could clearly see what happened. I had six, which would make sense because she gave me six pennies. I ate two and now I have four left over. I'm so glad we did this because our learning goal for today says, I can take from a whole amount and write a number sentence with a minus sign. Pretty official, friend. Now, I just did a drawing and a number sentence, but I want you to practice on the next one. So can you go ahead and press pause while you grab a dry erase board and a marker, and then press play when you're ready? Okay, you all set, friend? Perfect. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with are these delicious brownies. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I have five. I want you to press pause and draw five brownies on your board. But of course, you're not going to do the, you know, the frosting and the nuts. What are you going to draw? What's a quick way to draw a math drawing? Yes, circles. Good job. So you draw five circles and then press play. All right, so we have our five circles, like I have my five brownies. And we're going to write our number sentence because someone's about to come along and take a bite of our brownie. So we started with five. Let's go ahead and write the number five because that's the whole amount we started with. And someone's going to come eat them. So are we going to be adding or subtracting? Yeah, if they're going to eat them. They're going to take them away to their bellies. So let's go ahead and draw that minus sign. Make sure it's nice and neat. Good job. All right, five minus four. Someone's going to eat four of those delicious brownies? Oh, that is a bummer because I love brownies. All right. Go ahead and write the minus four, even though it's very sad. And then I want you to go ahead and change the drawing to show taking away four. What do we do to all of our circles or those brownies to show that we're taking away four? Go ahead and you do it. Did you take away four yet? If not, press pause. Press play when you're ready. Okay, so how did you show in your drawing that something happened and you had to take away four? Oh, yeah, put our X's up there. All right, let me go ahead and put my X's on my brownies. One, two, three, four. Does mine kind of look like yours? Good job. All right, what do we have left to finish on our number sentence? Yeah, the amount that's left over. So five minus four equals how many? Good, one, because we had five. Four were eaten or taken away. We only have one left of the five, right? Oh, man, bummer. Hey, it is a bummer we only have one left, but that's plenty to eat. And look at our beautiful number sentence. Hey, good job, friend. Okay, excellent. Go ahead and erase your board. We're going to try another one. All right, this time, oh, I had so many popsicles. Can you go ahead and count with me to see how many popsicles I started with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of delicious popsicles. 
You know, as soon as you saw this picture, I wondered, did you think, hmm, I'm going to have to draw seven circles? Yeah, because we're doing drawings and number sentences. If you thought that, give yourself a high five. Way to be a rock star. All right, but if not, that's okay. Go ahead and draw seven circles for our seven popsicles. Remember, if I start moving on and you're not ready, you go ahead and press pause, friend. Okay, so we have seven popsicles and someone's going to come in and eat, so I have a feeling. So what do you think our number sentence is going to start with? Go ahead and write it on your board. What do you think? What's our whole amount that we start with before we start taking away? Yep, write it on your board. Good. Did you write seven? Oh, good job. Why did you start with seven in your number sentence? Yeah, because when you subtract or you take away, that first number in the number sentence is the whole amount. The amount you had before any kind of change happened to it. Like I dumped out the box and there were seven popsicles. Nothing's changed yet, right? Right. The change happens when we subtract or we take away. So let's go ahead and write our minus sign. And then this time we're going to take away two, all right? So your board should say seven minus two. And now go ahead, make a change in your picture. How are you going to show taking away two? All right. Did you put two X's? Friend, you're so good. One, two. Now what do we do? We had seven. We took our two away. What do we have left? Yeah, we got to figure out the other side of that equal sign. All right, seven minus two is the same as whatever many are left over. So go ahead and count how many are left over and then write that on your number sentence to finish it up. One, two, three, four, five. Did you write five? Oh, friend, you are so good at these subtraction number sentences with that beautiful minus sign. All right, you should be feeling good about yourself. Go ahead and say, I'm amazing. Good. All right, which is great because you are amazing. And our learning goal said, I can take from a whole amount and write a number sentence with a minus sign, which is exactly what you've been doing. Okay, so I'm ready for you to seesaw a picture to me. Here we have five circles. One, two, three, four, five. What I would like you to do is I want you to draw or write a number sentence that matches the picture I just made. So we had five and then I put three X's there. X's, of course, mean taking away. So I want you to send me a subtraction sentence that shows what I just did. Five, take away three. And then how many does it equal? Good luck, friends.